Hey guys, me and team here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 5. Uh, Great Generals are one of the units that can actually move on top of other units, so that's useful. I don't know why, I don't just ignore those. Out of the way, city state messages, right click, right click, okay. And uh, the way Great Generals work, if you bring them with your army, is that they are a plus 25% bonus to all units and adjacent tiles. This is very important if you're targeting early war rather than like teching up to something like long swordsmen. Because uh you that's the difference between a costly attack on a city, so to speak, and a safe attack on a city, so to speak. And it makes a difference. Oh yes it does. Hmm. Yeah, I'll draw I'll build some more workers now. I have three horsemen with a uh, fourth on the way. And, uh, yeah, I'm losing some gold now. But once I start working uh, gold tiles, I'm not going to be losing gold. And I should be able to do that without too much trouble. I think I'll, uh, yeah, I'll push up but stay just out of bombardment range and then try to get close enough to attack on the next turn. Space bar to skip turn, skip turn, and ignore the city state, and off we go. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I I kill a couple units, and he's already trying to uh, get out of this deal. Now it was recently patched out that if you started kicking the AI's butt sufficiently, it would actually uh, give you a whole lot of its cities, like so many cities that it was pretty much screwed for the rest of the game. So that seems to be out. And, like, one of the first patches since the game was released. Yeah, it's already been patched because that was just so broken. And this could be nice, but I don't want to get locked into a peace treaty with them, especially with the eternal peace treaty bug. So I'm going to refuse this deal. Besides, I want Paris. Paris is going to bring me monies. And that is nice. I don't think I can afford it. Uh, cities that you annex from uh, Conquest, I have a lot of unhappiness, generally. Oh, crossing river penalty. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, close in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's fine. I doubt he's gonna be able to do anything. Yeah, look at it. Safe attack. I'm actually stronger than the city already. I'm going to hold off on attacking. I don't wanna get hit. I don't wanna damage myself and get counterattacked by the warrior and the city and uh wind up getting hosed that way. So I'll wait till next turn to start launching uh, attacks. What? Are you kidding me? Look at all this gold he has. And he wants a peace treaty. I didn't even fight him. Okay, fine. You know what? I don't even know where you are, dude. You are so dumb. Something like that. What is this? Why is this so hard to move into? Oh, it's desert. Uh. Yeah, people say you need siege or like planning or uh, otherwise some kind of strategy to early conquest. No, not really. What you need is a couple strong units and a great general and you can just mow people down. And horse units can even move after they attack, which is nice, but I'm not going to take advantage of that. And this city is as good as mine next turn. <laughs> yeah, he heals one, does one damage to me, and these cities aren't anywhere near the strength they supposedly are. Oh, that's my scout getting wiped out. You know what, fine, I don't really care about it, I've scouted out what I care about now. Safe attack, and nearly red line, like, nearly taking the city just from that. Quite impressive with these horse units. And that'll do it. Paris will fall. Now a very key difference between this game and previous games... <laughs> okay, I, if you annex the city, you get uh, unhappiness. Puppets have much less happiness, but you can't control what they build. 
and you may not choose what it produces. But you do get the uh, city's yields. So I'll get the research and gold and all that from this city, and that will be useful to me. Also, my people are unhappy. But I, once I hook up these resources here, it's not going to be as bad any longer. So, okay, now that you uh, have a city like this, you can just heal up right away. Ha! I'll take out the barber encampment with my scout using the instant healing nonsense. No, I'm t I'm 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 taking that worker. Screw it. Yeah, and then you just heal up, and you have the ability to have instant heal instead of the promotions. So you can use that in a pinch too, and it just gets ridiculous um, how much you can do with just a couple horsemen in this game. Yeah, and I have all kinds of workers. Look at that. This is awesome. And I didn't even have to kill anyone. No, I'll declare on anyone to kill somebody. It's just amazing. Can I take Copenhagen? I probably can. City-states as a rule early in the game are harder to take than others. But, you know, with, and you have a good setup like this. You can, you can take on a 16 strength city. There's some oomph there. I'm going to get this scout out of here before I try to heal it. So I don't get arrowed to death. Automate workers. Yeah, they'll hook up the strategic resources for me. Wow, uh, Paris really had quite a bit of culture thanks to the uh, French uh, unique ability. It's quite nice. Nice city for me. It was nice of them to uh, declare on me and allow me to take it. Get myself a nice puppet with good resources. And good workers, too. Alright, well. Let's bring the horsies along. Is this guy healed? I think he is. Yeah. Okay. And my final horseman. There's probably something up here. Oh, that's where the Ottomans are. Okay. So if I don't get bugged, maybe I'll head for them next. Because the city-states really don't get that much stronger over time compared to the others. And, yeah, you know, I'll sink hammers into the Colossus, just because I don't have anything better to build any longer. <sighs> Oracle's been built in a faraway land. That's fine. I built the uh, Three Horsemen Wonder. That, that wonder is doing fine for me. And no, it's not actually a wonder. You do want to protect your great generals, though, because they have no strength at all. But man, are they good. They're amazing. Well, they were pretty good in the previous game, too, as super medics or as early uh, experience advantages. Ha. So move in. You don't actually have to declare on city states before you attack them. Which, well, you do, but you can be in their borders when you do it. Unlike AIs, which kind of don't take kindly to that for the most part. Open technology tree. Uh, Annex cities, you can mitigate their unhappiness with a courthouse, but they do cost five maintenance. So that's something to keep in mind. You can also mitigate unhappiness with construction uh, using coliseums. That's what I'll be doing next. Well, you can do it with the circus, too. So I'm just going to scout up here a little bit with this horseman and get ready for some Ottoman dominance. Oh, wow. Oh, I was attacking a barbed spear. <laughs> the only reason I did well was that uh, I have the plus 25 bonus against them. Well, okay. 
I mean, whatever works, I suppose. Horseman, great general. And that'll probably get me enough uh, to be able to attack Copenhagen next turn. And oh, he even settled a city towards me. That's quite nice of uh, Solomon. Save me all that investment and in settlers. Because eventually I'm going to want to own this continent completely. And uh, that eventuality isn't too far in the future, actually. Alright, just to be safe, I, it's range 2, but I'll move up here with my great general. And uh, let's throw down. Sorry, Copenhagen. Yep, yet another safe attack. That's just how this game is. You get the right setup. 16.8 strength versus 16.2 strength. That's the great general for you. That makes a difference. That makes a big difference. <sighs> okay, well, I am still eating unhappiness. And I have access to a circus. And I'm getting so many workers from everything else. I am losing gold. Maybe I should be careful what I build in terms of that, too. Yeah, whatever. I'll build another worker. They're not too bad. I always use more workers. Decisive victory over a spearman. So I'll just heal up there. Yeah, Copenhagen can't reach that. Especially can't reach it with anything that can kill the horseman. Come on, I hook up the happiness resources sometime. I know I have some hooked up already. No, I do not. I have bronze working, right? You need bronze working to clear jungle in this game instead of iron working. I do have bronze working because I can research iron working. So yeah, my workers should get there soon. I can't really be bothered with this empire management, that's silly. Safe attack! Yeah, the, the big difference in this game is you just don't lose units on the offensive if you're strong enough. Which means you can just keep using them over and over again. It's a gift that keeps on giving. So heal up, heal up. Fortify. And as soon as they're healed, I'll be going for the Ottomans. Assuming the uh, 10 turn peace treaty, it doesn't expire. Or does, I mean. Jeez. Hello, Singapore. Actually, let's look at that. Let's check that out. Diplomacy overview. Deal history. On turn 26. Peace treaty 10 turns. So, if I can't declare on him next turn, then, uh,. I'll probably quit the game actually, and that's just a little bit of an early showcase on how to wage war early in the game. He won't have anything that uh, Paris didn't have, or Napoleon. Oh no, there we go, it did expire. Okay, so I can continue with this. And one of my other attempts at this game, it uh, bugged out on me and I couldn't end a peace deal ever. Ever! But now I can. And I got a lot of gold for my troubles. No, my scout's still alive. Decisive action. I think they had to barb spear. I'm just stronger because I'll be a general and he's damaged. So spears are a bit of a uh, hindrance to horse space units, but there are ways around it, and that's helpful in the early game. Well, okay, I'm fully healed. I'm actually going to try to avoid this spear. Looks like I cannot. Oh well. In that case, I'll take the adjacent unit nonsense. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. 
it won't be able to do anything serious to me. And that comes up on about the timelet. So in future videos, we'll see what we can do to the Ottoman Empire. Notice that they are still weaker, even in the capital, than the city-state I just conquered. So I predict good things to come. The so me and team signing off.